Will you please uh, state your name and occupation? My name is George Dyson, and I'm a historian of technology. A lot of people say I'm a historian of science. But... Um, do you use the Biodiversity Heritage Library in your work? I have not, but I will. I'm very impressed by what I've seen. Uh -huh. I look forward to looking through it. Can you give me an example of how you anticipate using it? Um, no, I mean, it's, it's sort of the unanticipated examples, but I, I'm, I will immediately look for some of the, you know, some of the evidence from the, er, I spent a lot of time studying the early voyages to the Northwest Coast, so I want to immediately go see what they have from that period. And what made you decide to attend the conference? Uh, I was invited, so, but I, what made me accept the invitation was a chance to, to visit the field museum and, and hang around with librarians and biologists who are, I think, two of the you know, more fascinating groups of people there are. Is there anything that you'd like to see um, done by the Biodiversity Heritage Library in the future that has not yet been done? Uh, I think they're on an absolutely great path forward and they, they, you know, they're sort of insatiably collecting, trying to preserve everything. And that's, a, that's a very good place to start. I, I mentioned that we should be thinking about collecting sort of early digital uh, you know, biology, if, if such a thing ever uh, exists. If there is digital life, you know, it's a good, good place to start collecting the very beginning of it. It's right there in front of us right now. And I think biologists can do that in a way that other people just won't see it the same way. Thank you very much. Thank you.